that's gotta go. Hey y'all. So the next mod that we are gonna do on our truck is a Dobinson snorkel. Um, and we're not gonna do that ourselves because cutting a huge hole in your fender, it's just not something we feel comfortable doing. But in our front here, we have a Stillen supercharger. We have one of these cone style filters. Um, these are hypothetically really awesome because you can take them out, wash them, reuse them for many, many times more over than the paper filters um, that would usually come with a stock air box. But what we found living in the desert is because it's so dusty here and we drive on dirt roads a lot, we just never can get this actually clean and we have to clean it constantly. Um, but that also being said, we do need to put a stock air box in this truck in order for it to be compatible with a circle. So I'm gonna be taking, I've already taken this out. I'm gonna be taking the rest of the system out and putting in a stock air box. We actually got a stock air box for, I believe in Xterra, cause they are the same in the Xterras and I think some of the Pathfinders as well as the Frontiers. Um, so we found one on eBay for really cheap. So I'm gonna be taking this out today and putting in the stock air box. And then hopefully we can get this into our four by short portion later this week and get the snorkel put on. I was filming was Monday. I can't even keep track. Anyway, I ended up taking our open air intake out, putting the stock box in, and it was fine for a little while. And then I think our mass airflow intake was really confused because going from this open intake to an enclosed box. And so, um, Rather than trying to figure out a computerized system that I have no idea how to fix, um, we went ahead and just put the open intake back in. We have an appointment in two weeks to get the snorkel installed, and we'll have to put the stock box in at that point too, and just get the whole system hooked up. And then if we need to take it in for a tune after the fact, we will. 
got in touch with the plant. Their um, enclosed air box for the Frontiers is not going to be compatible with our supercharger. So we're going to stick with the stock box for now. And we may end up s upgrading to the Stillen enclosed air intake at some so on the Volant um, enclosed air box, the box is here, um, but the tubing comes to about here on the stock Nissan engines. And we would need it to hook up either here or all the way over here because of our supercharger setup. So um, we're primarily upgrading to a snorkel for dust intake, not necessarily for water crossing. So having it be like fully 100% sealed from water is not a huge deal. Um, but that's what I've found out so far. Having a Nissan Frontier, number one, that people aren't modding as frequently as like Tacomas for overlanding, for example, and then also having this supercharger in it ends up making it really hard to find answers. When the stock box was in last week um, for a couple of days, we were having a really hard time getting enough power. Um, and uh, I recognize that like the power is gonna go down a little bit because of an enclosed box and with the snorkel too, just like restricting the amount of airflow. Um, but it shouldn't have been that bad. And so I was trying to like, just do some research and figure out like, okay, what kind of like, air intake do we need? Like, can we use the stock box with a supercharger? Cause I don't know these things. I'm not a mechanic. I'm a social worker by trade. So like I'm learning as I go here. And so I was like, oh man, like maybe we can't use the stock box with this. Um, supercharger. Well, that's not the case. We can use the stock box. We can put a su the, the snorkel on it, but it's just a little bit more complicated because we've got the supercharger on this thing. If it was stock, if it had the stock box on it, the suit, the snorkel install would be incredibly straightforward. If we have an appointment with Red Desert Off-Road here in St. George, our uh, off-roading shop of choice, and they're gonna, they're gonna hook it up and hopefully it'll all be good. We may need to get it tuned after the fact, but hopefully not. Hopefully it'll just keep, cut, take a couple of days for things to smooth itself out. Uh, quick shout out to my husband when he put the uh, open air intake back in on Monday he cleaned the engine bay he looks so nice that's not gonna last though <laughs> two weeks later here is the final product what are your thoughts on the matter Nar? Brian's moving the tent because the sprinklers are gonna go off and he just seam taped it. <laughs> Oops. It's been a couple of weeks since we got it installed. Um, we had Red Desert Off-Road here in St. George do that. I'll link their page down below. They did an excellent job. The um, clean air intake, like the filter is way cleaner. Um, and our hope is that that will improve our the life of our engine improve the quality and the way that the car runs um so that's been great it also just looks super cool and um you'll notice it's since it has been a couple weeks we just added these pod lights they haven't been wired up quite yet but that's our next little mod it's an interesting project i feel like i learned a lot more about the just the intake system in general and if you have any questions or comments, as always leave those down below. Um, you can give my Instagram a follow and I'm always posting photos and videos of our adventures over there as well. And uh, we'll see you guys down the road.